good morning dear students so today i am going to tell about the different types of brake systems okay so last class we studied what you mean by brake and what is the function of brakes why we required a brake and advantage disadvantage application of brake system so in this slide i am going to tell about the different types of brake systems for your syllabus there are mainly there are two types of uh, brake systems that is first one is a mechanical brake system second one is a hydraulic brake system so mechanical brake system again they are classified into two types first one is a drum brake and second one is a disc brake so so now in this ppt i am tell about the working of drum brakes okay so what do you mean by brake drum so normal brake means what it is a device so with the help of this we can stop the vehicle or the retarding motion of a vehicle uh, is called as a brake so okay now so drum brakes or with the help of some friction caused by the pads uh, and to stop the vehicle so such brake systems are called as a drum brakes so the definition says the drum brake is a brake in which the friction is caused by a set of shoes or pads that press against the rotating drum shaped part called as a drum brake okay now so next one is uh the what is the main function of this drum brakes to normally uh, all different types of brakes are to stop the vehicle only so at possible shortest shortest distance in emergency cases so that is the main function of a brake system so second one is to control the vehicle when it travel along with a hills even if you go uphill or downhill wherever you require if you want to stop means you can stop with the help of some mechanism so that is also a main function of a drum brakes and to keep the vehicle in a desired position even if you go very high speed you should have control capacity okay when we have to apply the brake it will be stop suddenly so that is also main function of brake system so normally brake system means you just to understand that it is a device or it is a component uh, to uh, stop the uh, vehicle okay now it is a retarding motion of a vehicle is called as a brake system okay so if you explain the working of this drum brake system means it consists of major seven parts first one is a back plate second one is a brake drum uh, third one is a wheel cylinder a brake shoe or brake pad uh, brake lining return um, spring and piston okay so the, i shown here the some arrangement uh, uh, in a, of a brake system so whole brake system is all the mechanism uh, should be adapted in a drum hence it is called as a drum brake so this will be fixed near to the uh, wheel tire okay so first one is called as a black plate black plate are fitted uh, uh, inside the, the um, tire so the black plates it act as a uh, base of the all the brake drum and we, on which all the components are assembled so it is attached to the axle and to form a solid surface for the wheel cylinder so in which uh, all the components are arranged that is the main use of that black plate so second one is brake drum the brake drum is normally uh, it is a made of a special different types of uh, uh, cast iron so it is position is very close to the brake shoe so brake drum so it is fixed around the uh, tire so if you observe the diagram so brake drum is fitted inside around upon which the uh, tire will be fixed okay na so the drum brake must it must it uh, must should have accurate balanced as uh, sufficiently rigid it should be tight and resistant against the wear should not get um, wear and highly uh, heat conductivity and it should be have a very a low weight okay next wheel cylinder third part is wheel cylinder on each wheel cylinder having a piston arrangement will be there that is pad arrangement will be there when hydraulic uh, pressure from the master cylinder acts upon the piston cup the piston are pushed towards the pads and forcing them against the drum okay now so when the when a driver push a pad or press the pad the hydraulic the piston arrangement made in the wheel cylinder should be moved towards out outward direction i will tell about this working in the next slide so brake shoes brake shoes are the parts uh, these are uh, fitted uh, behind the brake lining line so brake shoes are made up of two pieces of sheet steel welded together so the friction material is attached to the lining table either by the adhesive bonding or riveting just to remember that brake shoe or it is a brake also called as a brake pad okay these are fitted uh, or these are fixed upon the brake lining next uh, this is very very important working in working case the it consists of an in a brake uh, it consists of in different parts okay now all the above parts what we explain now uh, it will it should have some 
uh, constant series connected okay not only series see the arrangement here um, the it is fitted see just to look at just to observe one minute in the diagram so this whole mechanism is fitted in a drum hence it is called as a drum brake system so this drum brake system is fitted uh, into the wheel cylinder into the wheel of the vehicle okay i will tell about the working now when if a driver press a pedal the master cylinder in the master cylinder having two types of piston or and also upon the master cylinder a reservoir will be there okay now in reservoir a fluid will be um, stored and you uh, make sure that the fuel should not be come below the pedal okay now if that come below the pedal means uh, the it should it will not be work okay now when a driver is press the pedal the fluid from the master cylinder is enters into the drum that is in a drum that is the called as a one more cylinder that is called as a slave cylinder okay now in slave cylinder there are two pistons are fixed when when pedal is pressed the two pistons are moves to uh, each other towards the each other okay now then working fluid will be passed near to the um, uh, black plate or slave slate when pedal is pressed when pedal is pressed the working fluid is uh, turn or force the uh, near to the brake lining okay uh, due to this uh, the friction will be generated in between the brake lining and the tire so if you just press there is a friction will be generated near to the uh, near to the um, wheel and the brake linings to, to for this uh, it will become a tight and it will stop at a particular uh, situation okay now the main function of spring is when the uh, working fluid uh, goes towards uh, both the side so it will become a again original position when pedal are removed uh, from the vehicle so it will become it will turn in the original position it is like it is act like a elastic uh, uh, body okay now so this is about the working just to remember that when just remember you when pedal is pressed a working fluid uh, is distributed uh, towards the uh, slave cylinder so in slave cylinder there are two types of piston when press when pedal is pressed with their two pistons are moved each other that is opposite to each other due to this there is a friction is generated so that friction is turned into the wheel cylinder that is a tire it will their tire it will um, tightly rigid the tire so at this situation so the whole vehicle will be stopped that is a working of drum brake okay now so these are the some advantage of uh, drum brakes drum brakes are the smaller for the same brake forces so drum brakes do not need any hydraulic uh, system for the activation it is a mechanic it is a this brake is purely mechanical brakes there is no at all required a hydraulic system any fluid etc okay so do, it is a very simple in construction and it can be very easy to repair at any stage at any time and some of the disadvantage also there for the brake drum so here the assembly of uh, this drum brakes is very complicated that is the main problem and it is uh, when the vehicle is moving in the water if you sudden stop is little difficult so these are the two main disadvantage of uh, um, you know, brake drum so application it is mainly used to stop the vehicle in shortest possible distance in car trucks etc and other automobile vehicles okay now so this is about the concept of drum brake system okay i think i hope you understand this uh, thank you